let's learn to paint this glass window in the rainy season i am going to use a stillman and bin nova black colored mixed media paper and oil paints to paint this picture i will begin by sketching a rough outline on the paper using a white gel pen previously i have painted on the nova series paper using watercolor pen inks acrylics and pastels this is the first time i am going to use oil color on this paper let's see how the painting turns out the initial pen sketch does not have to be too elaborate you just need to know after watching the sketch where to put the paint that's it let's begin painting i began painting the sky using turquoise blue mixed with zinc white i used the same combo mixed with a little crimson later on to paint the bluish building in the background of the tree note that i am not painting till the edges of the paper keeping the outline uneven like this makes for an interesting composition in my opinion if you like to fill out the whole paper feel free to do so there's nothing right or wrong in either approaches let's paint the lighter part of the building now as said earlier i have mixed a bit of crimson to the paint i use for painting the sky and using it here most of this paint will be blurred later the current task is to fill out the painting area with various colors note that i am not applying thick layers of the paint here due to the subject matter of our painting we need to keep the colors flat since we are looking at this scene from a rain soaked glass paint window the textures of the building and other objects will appear blurred to us For the red tiled roof of the house I use crimson mixed with zinc white Do not bother to keep the outlines for the roofs doors and windows straight These will anyway appear a little crooked due to the light being refracted via the wet glass pane of the window Let's begin with the foliage surrounding the house. I use sap green and chrome yellow to paint the closer foliage which appears a little brighter to us. For the distant foliage which appears dull, I used sap green and yellow ochre. For the tree trunk, I use some sap green mixed with paints gray and burnt umber. I made this mix darker by adding more gray and brown into it for painting the darker values on the tree. and at its base i mixed a little yellow ochre where i needed a lighter value over the trunk of the tree or its branches Now that the main objects in the painting are filled with colors it's time to soften some edges so the scene will realistically look like a wet rainy scene paint the rest of the empty areas
I use thick blobs of zinc white to add some water droplets to the glass pane. When looking out through a glass pane wet from the outside, we always see such water droplets accumulated on the glass as well as some rivulets of water. Add some volume to the water droplets on one side using dark grey paint. This step requires some patience but it's well worth it. Blur the edges of the objects further. Let everything melt into its surroundings except the water droplets of course. After adding some water rivulets, the final painting looks like this. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel if not done so already. Happy painting!